Thanks, Taylor. It's now been more than a week since Limestone County schools have been able to open their doors to their students. Last week's sub-freezing temperatures damaged pipes throughout the county, leaving hundreds without clean running water. Way 31's Paige Meyer joins us live now from Ardmore with how parents have been surviving with no running water for their families. Paige. Dan, that's right. I mean, it's definitely been a struggle for parents who have kids in both daycare and schools. This isn't something that any parent could have prepared for. And to start last week, schools were closed. Schools and daycares were closed because of the weather, but have remained closed because of lack of clean water. Many parents I spoke to today have had to find alternative ways to make sure their kids were taken care of. Now, Kaylee Wirtz works at Little Tigers Learning Center here in Ardmore. The center, along with all of Limestone County Schools, has remained closed since the snow fell last week. Kaylee has three kids of her own, one in school and two in her daycare that she had to take care of. But despite her own challenges, Kaylee opened her doors to parents at her daycare that couldn't find a place to take their children. Kaylee tells me she did not expect what started as a few snow days to turn into a week off of school and work. Today, we got told we couldn't open because uh, state law, we can't do anything with having to boil the water because you can't cook for them, you can't wash bottles, you, I mean, you can't do let them wash their hands, nothing. Kaylee took care of seven kids today as she helped parents who were struggling to return back to work. Luckily for her, both the daycare and Limestone County Schools plan on opening back up tomorrow. Now, the mayor of Ardmore tells me that the water here is being tested as we speak and the boil notice could be lifted as early as tomorrow. But as always, make sure to stick with Way 31 as we will bring you updates on this as we get them both on air and online at WayTV.com. For now, reporting live in Ardmore with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.